Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome to October. It, we haven't done one on the first of the month in a long time. I'm looking at my calendar. It still says September, so that's not helpful. <laughs> uh, so it's Monday, October 1st, and uh, we are in quite an exciting place, and we'll talk about why that is. But the first thing I want to say, first of all, we're going to do things in a backwards order today because Melissa's training, and she not feeling well, and so we're gonna let her go at the beginning. Um, but she's hanging in there, so that's a good example, right? Um, but I will say, just real quick, make sure you go to our Team Fisher Region page and look at the video I did today and all the congratulations, because we did not make our big, big, huge goal, but we did have an amazing month, and a lot of people had amazing months. And so make sure you have a look at that. And um, we're going to go for region and we're going to keep going for region until we get there. And I'm going to keep having this much energy about it. Just to give you a perspective, that basically means we need to, on average, be doing 10,000 in business a week. <laughs> so it's not nothing, but we have about 15 active people on the team. What if we grew to like 25 active people on the team? And then what if all those 25 people were doing some business every week? There you go, done. Um, so it's a big goal, it's doable, and I'm just gonna like keep talking about it until we do it. So you're gonna get sick of that. <laughs> no way. But along the way, you know, you guys might be going for things as well. So that's what I'm here to help with. That's what I love about it. As we strive for our goals, it, by default, it's helping you with your goals. And we can achieve our goals better when you're helping us and mentoring us and coaching us. So yep. I love that aspect. You lift me up. I lift you up. I let you know. Yeah. And one of the reasons that we do the kinds of training that Melissa's going to do today, that's more mindset and sort of I don't know what the word is besides mindset based as opposed to activity based is that the more confident we are about this business and the more sort of posture and backbone we have about talking about it and sharing it with people, the more amazing people we're going to attract to it and the more we're going to grow and the more people we're going to help grow. And so it all just kind of is a big cycle. So we obviously need to know what to do, but we also have to have this strong mindset because no matter what entrepreneurial business you're in, you know, you got to hang in there when the going gets tough because it will at some point. <laughs> so that's why we try to mix in mindset as well as action training. So with that being said, in our backwards order today, Melissa, take it away. Thank you so much, Cheryl. And I just want to say that um, as I'm just fighting, you know, a cold, um, times like this, I'm just reminded about how grateful I am for Arbon because it's um, not only just a wonderful business and wonderful products, but I feel like I have my own little drugstore in my <laughs> Renee, you're <laughs> muted. You're muted, just so you know. Sorry, I saw your mouth go. I didn't know if you were talking. <clears throat> and so, like, you know, I've got the immunity booster. So the second I was feeling badly, I took one. I do believe it's going to make it not last as long and it's going to kind of take the edge yep. off. I've yep. got my tea. I've got my um, hydration. Plus. Hydration. My husband too. I'm not running to CVS in a hurry buying emergency and airborne and all that. I've got it all in my house <laughs> because we keep those things on hand. And then, you know, for focus and a little bit of energy when I need to function during the day, I'm having those energy fist sticks. So I just feel like, that, that's just so cool. Like it, it, I've got a mini drugstore in my house and it's a healthy drugstore. Anyway, moving right along. Um, so I, I love training a lot about positivity and like gratitude and stuff like that. Uh, but I also think uh, this was a very uh, important topic. topic. And um, basically this is based on a training I heard a couple weeks ago um, called Upgrade Your Energy. And it was by an NVP, her name is Linda Loveless. <laughs> She's kind of a, a cute name. Um, 
And yeah, it just resonated with me because it's so important. I mean, the gratitude piece and positive thoughts and positive thinking are really uh, crucial. But this energy thing, I, it just really spoke to me. And I thought, I want to train on this. So um, she talks about how um, the gifts that we've been given uh, personally, um, they another name for them is energizers. So for example, things that energize you, those are your gifts, which is pretty cool. Um, and we are given those gifts to give to others in order to uh, bless others. So these gifts are given to you, but they're not for you. So they're given to you to sort of give away. So that's another important reason why we really need to guard them and guard our energy. She uh, came up with a cute acronym. I don't know if it's her invention or not, but uh, the word gift. And she said it stands for God's. Am I using the right? It's acronym, right? When you have um, the letters going down and each letter stands yeah. for. Sometimes it's called an acrostic, but that's it. Oh, acronym. well, it might actually be called that. Well, anyway. <laughs> it might be both, but um, so it stands for God's intended future treasures. That's a gift. God's intended future treasure. So the things in you that maybe haven't come totally to fruition. Um, I love how she says, you know, uh, gifts are strengths that advance us. So this is what we have to focus on as we're moving forward in our lives and in our business. Um, and I love how she says we kind of depend on one another. We all depend on one another. I need you and you need me. And when you kind of have that um, attitude about, you know, in working with people, really great things can happen. So um, she coins this phrase called energy intelligence. And basically, that's what energizes you. And she kind of in this training, she talks a lot about uh, this test. And you may have heard of it, Cheryl. It's called strength, strength scope. I um, looked it up, actually. I haven't done it, though. Yeah, and I started to go down that road, and it does cost a little bit of money. Um, I have not invested in it yet, but I could see how it could definitely be valuable for you to, to find out those things. If, you know, um, So basically, the, the test helps you figure out not necessarily what you're good at, because she said, and I, I thought about so many different things. Like, Cheryl, I thought about you. You're good at math. You're good at, um, you know, economics and things like that. You're good at teaching. But if it's not energizing you, it's not, you know, it, it's not, it's not helpful. Fair so, point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I, I find the same thing. So it's not always what we're good at. It's what gives us energy. That's what, um, that's where we want to focus our strengths. Um. You know, and there was a lot of I am statements, and I think we do a lot of those in our affirmations. I am, you know, fill in the blank. I am strong. I am uh, wise. I am positive. I am a great leader. I am a happy person. I am generous. Um, so um, she said to think about a time that you were at your best. And actually, she says she uses this in one-to-ones with people, with a prospect, Think of a time when you're at your best and come up with three words that describe how you feel. So I thought that was a really fun exercise to use for ourselves and even in dealing with others because you can learn a lot about the person when you find those out. So she said some common examples were things like lit up, empowered, in the zone, in the flow, in flow. Um, you know, and we do better work when we are in that zone. So we want to try to stay there as much as possible. Um, so, and she, when we are in the flow, time slows down and even stops sometimes. And it, it can even speed up as well when we're in flow. It's kind of can go both ways. I know what she means. And these are the things um, that we do when we're in flow or in the zone or whatever you want to call it, um, we're going to do those things whether we are paid to do them or not. And I thought that was really a really telling thing. Um, because at one point, like when I was a preschool teacher, at one point, I actually thought the paycheck was icing on the cake in the very beginning. <laughs> so it was energizing me greatly. And I was like, oh, I'm, 
it's, this is so great. And I have this schedule and I, have, I get to work with these kids and these amazing parents and, and they want to pay me for that, you know? Um, but over time that changed and it's kind of interesting. So I probably didn't do a good job managing my energy, um, and not getting drained. Um, so, uh, this assessment that if you choose to take, it does identify distinct strengths and these are ways of thinking, feeling, and expressing emotions that lead to exceptional performance. And in doing these things and engaging in these ways of thinking, feeling, and expressing, that energizes you and strengthens you. And so that's a huge part of when you are going for goals and, um, you know, and you have a direction that you want to go and you have to guard your energy. Um, and so, sorry about that. My notes are a little bit. There's a quote, and I love it. She quoted John C. Maxwell. Some of you have heard of him. He's, uh, I don't know a ton about him, but he is a, a wonderful man that was quoted a lot by network marketers and entrepreneurs. He's like and, a speaker and trainer. Yeah. Yes, speaker and trainer. Thank you. Um, he says, don't waste time strengthening your weaknesses instead you want to strengthen your strengths so i thought wow so like if you are not i'm trying to think she said if you told me that i had to do parties in order to grow this business and i thought of us again <laughs> she said i wouldn't have lasted one to one is what and one to ones is what energizes me and I have figured out that that is my sweet spot. I do best with these one-to-one -one coffees. And I had one today, and it's so it's fresh in my mind. And I loved being able to speak confidently about what I'm offering and being able to tell her what I saw in her and being able to assure her that um, I'm offering something, but that it's her decision and that there is no pressure and, you know, that we help people along any pace they choose to go at. Um, so it was really wonderful to, to be there. And I was reminded yet again, even though I wasn't feeling great, and that was new to me, the old Melissa might have canceled. Now, if you're in, if you're in your bed with 104 degree fever, okay, thank you. But I thought to myself, no, this is a new month. This is October 1st. This is a new Melissa. Cold I'm okay. What? I said cold schmold. Yeah, exactly. And I was like, I don't feel fantastic, but I feel okay. And I'm going to do this. And so, yeah. Um, um, I, let's see if we increase. Um, okay. Uh, one call to action she had, and I have yet to do this. And I, I really should have done it first before the training, but it's something we can do at any time. But basically coming up with an energy journal, like having a separate Hi, Heather. Have a separate journal for to, to track your energy. She said come up with two columns and have a column for energizers and then a column for drainers. Um, so just being aware of what, what you know, does that for you. And, um, you know, dra drainers um, can also be, and this, this sort of, I didn't think this was obvious, if you're overusing your strengths and putting them into overdrive, they can actually become a drainer. Hmm. They can harm forward progress. For example, her example was empathy and taking on people's energy and taking on people's problems. And that's a strength that has helped her in life. When it goes to the other end, now, now she's getting depleted and now she's, she's not able to move forward because she's getting stuck there. Um, and sometimes we can't help what's happening in our lives. Sometimes we can't help that we're getting drained and, and you know, um, that our empathy, you can't, it's not something you can turn off. And if you have, if you're going through tough things, loss of a loved one, loss of a pet, um, illness, um, you know, it, it, it's not always easy to uh, just shut that down. Um, but she says you can pull yourself back to a higher energy state by focusing on other skills of yours. So if, em if your empathy piece is getting drained, you can kind of pull yourself back by um, enhancing other skills like optimism or positivity. So 
using one strength to kind of pull you out of being depleted when your other strength is in overdrive. So I mean, I just thought I could not get enough of that. I was like replaying, replaying, taking notes, reorganizing. I just, I thought this has so much depth in it. And it's something like we all, I thought we could all benefit from. Um, she also said, what if Superman or Wonder Woman didn't know how to control their strengths? When they would go to shake your hand, they would crush you. <laughs> So that is what happens when your strengths are overused. She's just a very nice storyteller. And the funny thing is, I actually didn't think in the past I've heard her and I've tuned her out. Like, I was like, I just can't listen to her. Like, she's too calm. It almost puts me to sleep. And so I was very like, oh, Linda Lovelace, I'm not listening to this. <laughs> then I put up later and I was like, jaw on the floor. I, I loved how she talked about, she used very poetic language. She said the grasshopper is not going to go and try to make honey, but that's what happens when we're not, when we're trying to strengthen our weaknesses, you know, or a lawyer that's supposed to be an artist. The bee knows what the bee is, you know, and the gifts you've been given are, are what you should focus on. So, um, so those gifts back to the Wonder Woman and Superman, they're only strong when they're under control. So controlling it is by pulling yourself back through other energizers or honestly just taking a break. <laughs> um, so I, I like this one. It's um, another exercise. So if you, if you like these little call to action as an exercise, you can choose one strength and identify the consequence if that strength goes into overdrive. So if it has a negative consequence on yourself, your family or others or on your business, you know, uh, choose that strength to focus on and you want to identify triggers because there's different triggers that, um, you know, uh, can deplete you, um, and develop a question to check yourself. Like, um, is this energizing me or is this depleting me? or whatever might resonate with you? Um, you know, I found myself going down a, a path today with Cheryl. I was like, why is this happening? Why does this not work? Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, you don't have time to waste your energy on that. And I was like, yeah, you're right. Hello, I'm training tonight. I should know this. Um, so what she says to kind of wrap things up a little bit um, is that we, we cannot always avoid that we're going to have to do draining activities. Because no matter what, I do not get energy from doing from filling the dishwasher. Empty <laughs> is a little bit better. Filling the dishwasher, I, I just don't. It just sucks the life out of me, but it's something that has to be done. So she says, and I like this because we can remember this. She says, use the 80-20 rule. Just like with healthy eating, do 80% of what energizes you and 20% is going to be the rest. So that's pretty much wrapping it up. If you guys want more information on where to find that test, I believe it's $95. Um, it's supposed to be very comprehensive and then you get a full report the next day. Um, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to take it because I'm pretty introspective already and so I kind of know, but I, I'm, I, it's, it's in my mind. I'm kind of curious. So. Let me know if you need that information and I'll connect you with it. Um, our, the, the, the actual full recording is on SoundCloud. Um, in train, uh, excuse me, it's in SoundCloud, but it's in WhatsApp in our trainings thread. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's Linda Loveless. It was the, the most recent Go for Gold. I haven't uploaded the, 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 the newest one yet, but Linda Loveless, Upgrade Your Energy. I thought it was very valuable. And I'm going to start keeping an energy journal if I can handle having three different journals, because now I'm going to have one by my bed. <laughs> well, you can, have, you can have it all mixed together. I think that would be okay. Oh, true. True. Um, you know what this reminds me of is the training that we did, it was probably a month or two ago where, remember I was making you guys write smiley faces and frowny faces next to things? Yes, I knew there was something that I couldn't remember. Yes. yes I don't remember how long ago that was, but mm -hmm. I... I know a few of my direct people texted me and said, let's talk about this. I wrote a lot of smiley faces and then we didn't always get to follow up with everybody, but it, that, I feel like that's kind of what we were talking about without realizing what we were talking about, you know? 
No, totally. And I, I'm so, I, I would have mentioned that, but it just, I was like, this is so familiar. Like I knew like, you know, what energizes us, like the, for me, the one-to-one -one and like messaging people, <coughs> sending a voice text. Um, yeah, but that, that was, that was great. I, I love that exercise a lot. I think it's really smart to be aware. And they said people in, lead, she said, people who have a leadership role are by, by nature, uh, they have a high degree of self-awareness. Not something I have actually, not, not, this is just something I know about myself, you know, and sometimes it can go the other way where it was like too much, like overanalyzing everything, but I've always been a self-aware person. I've always been introspective. And um, so I'm glad to see that that is uh, being put to use in this business, helping me grow as a person. And well, yeah, and I think this whole draining thing is a big deal. So like when you're new at this business, you have to learn everything, right? Like you need to know how to explain things. You need to know all the different things you can do, but you might have this reaction like, oh, I don't want to do that. Or, oh, I love doing this that's valid. You know, you don't want to have a completely unbalanced business, but those are valid things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just, I really like how you're saying energizing and draining because, um, there are the, the reason that I left teaching is because it was draining me and I, I am good at it. Yeah. You told me that, but it was sucking my energy. You know? So that's a different thing. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm glad, I'm glad that you found a way to realign and, and to move on, you know? Um, well, I, so I would say, you know, if you, you guys that are on now or watching the recording, um, first of all, Lori, when you watch this recording, I'm curious if you know this strength scope um, assessment. So if, if you guys don't know, Lori is our resident expert on what would you call it? leadership and self-assessment and personality tests and everything you can imagine about that, right? <laughs> Absolutely. And just um, very good at the, the mind stuff. Like, yes. Uh, yes. You know, and that's what she does for a living, actually. Yeah. So um, so if you've heard of it, I'm curious about it. it. It's a UK thing. I looked it up and I saw uh, it was oh. from the UK, uh, oh. this strength scope thing. Okay. But yes. probably everybody at some point has done like Myers Briggs or, you know, mm -hmm. your top personality traits or, or whatever. And I just think this is a neat angle because it is possible to be good at something, but for it to be draining. It is absolutely. And that's also what happened to me. And actually for me, um, you know, and I'm sure a lot of it was Perhaps if you didn't, it's hard to know. If you didn't have children, would you still be drained of teaching? That is a good question. I don't know the answer. That's what happened to me because I had the energy to keep doing it. Um, but not when I was feeling my energy pulled from the, the kids, you know. And yeah. So, and I mean, but that changes you, right? Like life it changes, changes us. You. It changes you. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, anybody have question, comment? I don't know what happened to Heather. We lost her. <laughs> but hopefully she's okay. Like everybody I'm saw her, right? Like I'm not imagining it. Yes, I saw her and I was like, okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well hopefully everything's okay. She um, was there, but then she got replaced. I know, she, she went away. Her. Well, hopefully it's fine. Her yeah. house is under construction, so who knows what's going on there. Uh, um, is it the whole house or just the kitchen? So, <laughs> Heather, correct me oh. if I'm wrong when you're watching this later. Uh, Alyssa's messaging us. She said, Oh, it got messed up on her computer? Oh, my goodness. I was thinking maybe her Wi Fi was acting funny. So, yeah. it's just the kitchen, but they're like, it, it kind of hits the family room and the dining room. And, you know, like it's big. I like it. I'm, I'm ready for that open house. Ooh. Tell her. Yeah, <laughs> Heather, I'm sure you're going to be watching this recording. We want to come to the open house. <laughs> Don't forget, if you need my, if you need my address, <laughs> text me. I can't oh. wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, well, thank you, Melissa. I like, oh, sorry. 
sorry, Aaliyah is celebrating her son's fifth birthday. It's his birthday today. Oh, happy so birthday, Aww. Leo. She might try to pop in at some point, but she doesn't think. <laughs> and, and, and he adores you, Cheryl. He talks to you and when it's recording or live. She says, oh, there's Miss Cheryl. Which is hilarious because I've never met him in person. I know. He is just. <laughs> okay, enough. I'm done. <laughs> That's cute. Um, kids and, and animals tend to like me. I don't know why. Uh, kind of entertaining. <laughs> well, we know guinea pigs do. We do. We do know <laughs> guinea pigs. Yep. You're pretty. Uh, <laughs> Mr. What's his name? You were his protector. That's right. I love <laughs> guinea pigs. That's true. Oh, she's, back. she's back. Oh, there she is. Oh, yay, Heather. Hi, Heather. Hi, Heather. She's back. She's back. Oh, I. <laughs> she can't hear us yet, I can tell. But yay, anyway. Um, okay, so since we were going backwards today, now um, we want to do napkin one, and we want to talk about like a trillion new things that Arvon just announced for this month. And of course, some congratulations. So any napkin one volunteers? All right then. Oh, Irene, what were you gonna say? What is napkin one again? <laughs> is it the one I've already done before? Um, what is network marketing? Oh, I've done that before. Uh -huh. I could do it again. You know what? Why not? Because okay. practice makes perfect. Do you want me to draw for you? Oh, I'd love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love the attitude, Irene. Awesome. Yeah, okay. you know, you got to just stick your neck out, right? That's right. Okay. So uh, let me get my stuff together. How do we usually buy products? That's kind of how we start. <laughs> That's a good way to start. Yes. How do we buy our products that we use every day or very often? For example, your um, hair products, your shampoo, your conditioner, your um, moisturizer, your <clears throat> makeup. Do you go to the counter at Macy's? and buy your makeup there, your Clinique or whatever you're buying. Um, or there is a different way of doing that. You don't have to go into a store to buy something, but the way that most people do it is that way, although they can shop now a lot on um, Amazon. But, <laughs> Um, the way the way um, retail works is that there is a manufacturer of a product. They make the product. They um, have their uh, that costs money to make their product, and they have their ingredients. And then they have to send it to the warehouse to be stored until it gets shipped to wherever it's going to go, whatever store it's going to be um, sold in. And it's going to be placed on a shelf there and they may have to negotiate like in a grocery store for shelf space. And in order to get people to know that they have this product that could be sitting there for and getting um, dusty for a long time. Nobody knows it's there. So they spend money on marketing, on TV, on um, in newspapers and magazines, and they may have a celebrity spoke spokesperson like the Jennifers, Jennifer <laughs> Aniston, <laughs> and uh, Jennifer Garner, for example. There are two of those. Jennifer Aniston. Yeah. Jennifer there are a lot of Jennifers. The Jennifers. Um, so they may have a, a, a spokesperson mm -hmm. that will um, market these uh, products and talk about how they use them in uh, their TV commercials. So this all costs money. And the consumer, it may be that they cannot 
the highest quality ingredients in a product because they have to spend money on all of these other these other expenses just to get the product to the store. So direct marketing is uh, a what a different way of marketing, and it's it's like the person. There are certain kinds. One is that um, there is the manufacturer of the product still, and that product can be shipped directly to the consumer, or in some cases that product may be, may go to an intermediary and they will um, distribute the product and they may have parties where they have um, this product, they go to someone's home and they may show uh, kitchenware to a lot of people at a party. So the network marketing part of it is that in a direct sales um, atmosphere, they uh, the product is manufactured and the person that is going to tell everyone about it is us, a, one, a person who builds a network. We're the Jennifers. I love your twist on it, Irene. See, you're making it Jennifer's. We can be a Jennifer Garner, we can be a Jennifer Aniston, and we can perfect our own commercials. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and so we tell our friends about them, and in turn, they may tell their friends and uh, their friends, and we keep building on that. We have our, um, then we build up a huge network of people that know about these products because we have educated, we're educators, and we're um, letting know every, everyone know what fantastic products these are and uh, what ingredients they have, and we're walking examples of the people that are the person that is using these products. So everyone want, should want to buy them once they see you. Right? <laughs> there you go. You're a good storyteller, <laughs> anyway. Irene. You're a good storyteller. I like that. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Well, then let's see. What did I leave off? Um, so in, our, in the Arbonne case of direct marketing, we um, let our customers go to a website and they order their products and then they have them sent to them directly. Mm -hmm. And so you don't have to um, store anything. Right. Um, they get yeah, we might help them order, but still it's going directly. Yeah. yeah, we help them order. Uh, so we don't have to store any of our, of the products uh, our house we just may have a smaller little size sample box where we <laughs> we keep these to give out to people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's uh, see what else did i what else i i like it well sometimes we want to make sure to differentiate here i mean they're both better okay. than retail because in both cases the costs of all this middle stuff are minimized but in yes. direct sales you really have to be doing a lot of demos and shows and things like that. Yeah. Um, okay. Whereas we're creating this network and because we have consumable products as well, which direct sales might or might not, they, we often have repeat buyers and we can kind of create this whole network of product users and sharers. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. Product users. And then those product users will share with mm -hmm. other product users and they keep going back to the uh, manufacturer of the product and that is how they um, grow their business and we grow our businesses and we also we have our own business so we are growing our own business and we get um, part of that <laughs> 
See, anyone could do this. You do not have to be an artist. That, that is, <laughs> that's a, yes, that's a good thing because I'm not. Uh, um, hmm, so I think that's it. I, I, I can do so. that. Um, I could do that one yep. now. I'll have to branch out though. Yeah. So next week we'll do the, how does it grow with the numbers? Okay. And then after that, the journey. Um, All right. Maybe I'll do that one. Yeah. It'll be Irene. It'll be the Irene show. show oh, yes. Next couple of weeks. <laughs> I said I was going to volunteer to build up my you know what? That's the way you grow, it. right? We're a friendly audience. We don't heckle. We don't throw tomatoes. It's all good. That's well, we might if we were in the same room. <laughs> oh my gosh, Heather, I'm so loving the scarf thing. I can't wait for scarf weather. I love it. Love it. And did you get a haircut? Oh, it looks good. Well, I'm, I'm trying to grow it out so I can get it fixed after my last haircut. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it looks good. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Okay, so we went backwards today. So we've done our training, we've done our napkin. My poor brain is getting confused. Let's see. Um, congratulations. I mentioned this at the beginning, but oh my gosh. Uh, Melissa and Alyssa's teams had their best month ever. Um, Alana, me, Alyssa, and Melissa were sponsoring this month. Renee and Alana were launching and still are continuing. Um, April earned her uh, consultant bonus. Amy is in the four figure club, which I'm going to start calling when you pass a thousand PQV. Um, what else did I say? Growing this month over last month. Heather, Aaliyah, Liz, I can't remember what I said because I threw it in the trash after I typed it out. <laughs> Who else was growing? Jet. Jet. Um, it was <laughs> somebody else too that I'm forgetting. Sylvia. Um, so there was a lot, a lot, a lot going on this month, and um, I'm excited to see what's going to happen next. And the reason big things are going to happen is because there were like a trillion, actually three, but it feels like <laughs> a trillion specials announced today. So I'm going to see if it will let me share my screen with you because I uh, downloaded the PDFs. For some reason, I'm seeing a lot of other things that aren't what I wanted. Well, we're going to have to look at my email inbox for a second because I think this is where it is. Yeah. Okay. So where to start? Let's start with this one. Can you guys see that? Rewind? Yes. Okay. So. Ah. Uh, there's. This is the same person, by the way. Ah. Uh, yeah. I, it's kind of crazy. Now, part of it is just modernized, but it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, so anyway, and this is what the RE9 used to look like. I, I was not buying Arbonne in 2003, but I have seen this in pictures. And so, you know, they changed the packaging and they modernize over the years and stuff. Um, but that is, I believe, really what it used to look like. Yeah. So, um, in October, and as far as I know, this ends at the end of October. I know you can't see what I'm reading, but I'm just having a quick look to see if they really said. They're sort of implying that the discount ends at the end of October, so I would assume that. Um, the RE9 set, and this is not the same thing as the ASVP. So the ASVP special package also includes the retinoid pads. That still exists. It's still the same as it always was. And it's still a great deal if somebody wants the retinoid pads. But just the RE9 set by itself is now rolled back to prices from 15 years ago for this month. Wow. So I think, I know, it's kind of amazing, actually. It is. I'm going to look up. I don't remember what the retail value is. It's like 360 or something right now. They probably say it. I probably don't need to be looking it up. Um, 327 is what it is normally. Oh, this is not actually what I thought it was. Hold on. Where's the thing about the price? Okay, here we go. This will work. 
Um, so, okay, it's worth $364. Normally the retail of the set, because they give you a little discount is $327 and our discount would be off of that. Now it's $266 and our discount is off of $266 or the PC discount is off of 266. So, I mean, that's kind of freaking amazing, actually. <laughs> so for consultants, the RE9 set is 172.90. For PCs, it's 212.80. Um, and I'll explain the rest of these little PDFs in a second, but that's big, 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 big. Um, so, I'm going to, if it'll let me do it, and if we have time, show you a little video that they did on the Arbonne ICC page on Facebook today about ideas, and some of them you might like and some of them you might not, but this is big um, because it's amazing as skincare, and if people are using it, they're going to want it because this is, I don't even know what the discount is. Does anyone happen to have a calculator handy? Uh, if we go from 364 to 266, that's like 33% off or something. It's close, maybe 30% off. It's a lot. Um, so I that's for out the percentage. How do you figure out what percentage? Do you subtract the take the difference and divide by 364? Okay. So, so it's 98 divided by 364. Math. Two, six, nine. Renee, oh, you're muted. I think I see you saying something. 0.269. So 0.27, which so is so 27% off. Yeah. And then of oh, course you I get your discount. So anyway, um, I think that's really exciting. And so we can figure out different things that we can do with that. First of all, if you already have people that use it they need it this month because why not stock up when it's on a huge sale? But uh, you'll see in the video, which I think we'll have time to look at, they also suggest, well, what if somebody's using the wellness side and they've never tried this? Maybe this is the right time because it's on this huge sale. Um, so then there's more to it than just that. And uh, the reason they're calling it, what? Oh. I thought I heard somebody talking. The reason they're calling it Rewind is because we're going back to 2003 prices. That's why the tagline Rewind, that's what it means. Now, they're also gonna give us presents every week if we have either clients, although you would never purchase this as a client, you would be a PC. So preferred clients or new consultants, only new consultants count for this raffle. Every time someone purchases one, your name gets put into a raffle to win a bunch of cool Arbonne stuff. And they're gonna do that every week through the month. And so complete chance, anyone can win. So every time you have a PC or a new consultant that purchases the set, your name goes in the raffle. Does that make sense? And they're not seeing what it is, but it's a bunch of like Arbonne boutique stuff. So that's kind of cool. And then, Top five district managers and above who have the most in the month RE9 sets are going to get a $500 Tiffany gift card. So that's kind of exciting. I mean, maybe you want to go on fire this month and win the gift card, you know? Why not? <laughs> so I will put this with all the details. Actually, it's on the source. So if you just go to the source and go to the kind of what's new part, you'll see it. But I'll also, I think I can attach it into our Facebook group as a file. Um, there wasn't anything else unusual. If you, if you have consultants on your team purchasing, they only count for the drawing if they're new, but all PCs count if they purchase a set. Um, and other than that, they're talking about, you know, small, small details. It does count if somebody wants it on auto ship. We don't have a lot of people doing skincare on auto ship because you don't really know when you're going to run out of it, but it counts. Um, Okay, so that's one exciting thing, and it gets better. Hold on to your hat. <laughs> um, which way do I want to go first? PCs in October, free sign up. Zero. If their order is 150 or more before 
the discount, which it almost always is, no sign up fee. Done. So again, that's saving them 30 bucks. That's kind of huge. We know that right now, normally, the sign up fee is never waived. The renewal fee might be waived if when you're renewing after a year, you do a 250 QV order, your renewal fee is waived. And I've had that happen for a couple people actually recently. But the sign up fee is normally never waived for PCs. So this is big. So all month, no matter what they buy, they do not have to buy the RE9 set. It doesn't matter what they buy, 150 QV or retail price. For us in the US, there's very little difference. Um, now in Canada, that's a little bit different. So Lori, I will look that up for you so that we can figure it out because it does go by retail price. So Canadian dollars can be a little bit different. Um, zero sign up. I think that's pretty cool. Anyone think that's cool? Unbelievable. <laughs> Great. So cool. And I loved your excitement about it, Cheryl. You're <laughs> hey, awesome. free stuff is good. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. I mean, to be able to say something is free is just exciting, you know? Um, I mean, we're not telling them they're going to get all their stuff for free, but they get this discount for a year and they don't have to pay any sign up fee. Like, that's kind of big. Okay. And then it doesn't stop there. For new consultants, now I've been really digging in this one because I think the whole new consultant sign up program might be changing to $49 ongoing. So but that just came through on the bulletin. It just came through on the bulletin. Yeah. It's now $49 no matter what. Like where. forever, right? They said anytime and with no minimum. So. I, I wasn't sure that was really what it was saying, but I think I that's what it was saying. I read it three times. I mean, we'll see. Yeah. It, yeah. I don't know why it wasn't here because it was, it was in the bulletin, but it wasn't in the source because I checked the source earlier. So my guess is that Arbonne over the last few months has been testing offers to see what appeals to people. And apparently the 49 has been a successful test. Um, so now we still have the 49 sign up. What I don't know is, is it still you have to do a 250 QB order or is it always and forever on anything a 49 sign up? I don't know the answer to that and I'll have to figure it out. It's only the first. So we have to figure out the details. However, consultants can sign up for free this month if they do a 500 QB order. So that's actually a size order that if you're starting a business is kind of reasonable because maybe you get the RE9 set and you get the 30 days nutrition set. There you go. Or they're showing that you get two RE9 sets done. Um, it would cost 325 with our discount for 500 QB worth of products. So if you have somebody who's really thinking about the business, if somebody just wants the bigger discount, this is probably not a fit unless they're doing all their Christmas shopping or something. Uh, if they just want the bigger discount, they should be a PC and enjoy the free stuff and everything probably. Um, but if somebody really wants to start a business, you're getting a bunch of stuff at a big discount and no sign up fee, so you're saving that $49. It's kind of smart. I think it's very smart. And I think Arbonne is going to um, even, they're going to make it back and then some. They're offering us these. Oh, for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And with the fourth quarter, I just can't wait to see what's going to happen. Well, and I, I heard an interesting thing, and I can't remember where I heard it. It was on some training somewhere. You know, we hear like everything from everywhere. Um, and they were saying that when you have people sign up to be a consultant and they basically just pay the sign up fee and they don't really order very much of anything. Like I've had a couple people over the years just sign up and pay the $79 and say, Oh, I have stuff. Like I don't need anything. When I really knew that they didn't cause they hadn't ordered for me for like three years or, you know, whatever. 
Um, or they said, I'll order soon, I'm just gonna pay the 79. In every case, they never did the business. And so what Arbon is saying basically is, it's not really about the sign-up fee, it's about using the products and loving the products and understanding the business model because we don't wanna be super salesy, right? But you have to be a product of the product. So I think that's what this is coming from, is that, you know, sign up fee, shmine up fee, like there's a fee, <laughs> but the fee doesn't matter. You have to be familiar with the products. And so they're trying to incentivize that is my guess, just from things I've heard. Um, but it does say on here, the 49 upgrade fee will be waived. So I, I'm still not convinced, see, 49 upgrade fee doesn't make sense if all new consultants are 49. So I'm not totally convinced that all new consultants are always 49. We have to investigate that one a little bit over the next day or two, uh, because normally a preferred client upgrade would be 50. So a few little details to work out, but um, these are some pretty cool things. And um, let me see. What time is it? Let me see if I can show you this little video. I, I realized we, oh, now we can all look at my Facebook. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute bag. At least, so, so one of my friends went to get a mammogram today and they gave her a cute goodie bag. Oh, oh wow. I guess it, it's like Breast Cancer Awareness Month or something. Oh, um, yeah, October is. Yeah. yeah, so she said this is like a grown-up goodie bag. <laughs> okay. I think this is it. Let's see if it works. Hey everyone, it's Linda Parker and I just wanted to share a few tips with you to maximize the two promotions that Arbon has for us this month. They have the RE9 special at the rewind pricing of 266 QV in all markets. And then we also have the free sign up for PCs with a 150 qualifying order and a free sign up for consultants with a 500 QV order. So you guys, those are huge and they can be really big for your business. So the first thing I want you to think about is talking to people about joining your business. There's never been a better time to join your business than this month. So think about who you want in your business. The second thing I want you to think about is maximizing this rollback pricing of 15 years. You guys, that's really incredible and an awesome gift that Arbonne is giving us. So let's show them what we can do with it. So let's make a list of maybe some healthy living clients that have never tried this. You know, one thing Michael and Ann have talked about is we're healthy living inside and out. And we've done a really good job with our healthy living clients on the inside. Let's get them on these products. And what better time than right now when it's at, at rewind pricing from 2003. So make a list of your healthy living clients that haven't tried it before. Make a list of maybe past consultants. I don't know about you, but I've had a few people in the last three or four years that said, oh, surprise me on the market. I, I love it, but I can't afford it. They're going to be some of the first people I call that say, hey, you don't want to miss out. You know what? You might even want to not just get one set, but get two at this incredible pricing. You also want to share this with as many people as you can. So you guys get your calendar full of one-on-one -on -one group presentations. Call past hostesses or hosts that have done things for you and say, hey, my calendar is going to fill up and I wanted to give you first dibs because you've been such a great client and I wanted to offer you my best deal. And here's what's so great is I'm going to offer every one of your guests there this incredible product at 2003 pricing. So make sure you're filling your calendar. Make sure that you are making lists of who you're going to talk to and then do it. Don't just make a list, but decide today, I'm going to call 10 people and I'm going to follow up with 10 people. You guys, this is incredible and it really blew up my business. It's a great time, I don't know about you guys, but I need to refresh my tester kits personally. I have things that I've used and they're you know, getting worn and, and they're down there low, so I wanna get some new sets. Well, it's on sale. You guys, we joke that my name is Linda at Cost Parker, so I'm all over <laughs> a good deal and this is a good deal. You guys think about it, if everybody, everything at the mall was at 2003 pricing, you'd be calling everybody. You should be doing the same thing with this incredible offer. And here's what I want you to think about. If you're not a district manager yet, this is your month to become a district manager. Yeah. <laughs> simply sharing this product and selling it to 10 people. And they can join as a preferred client for free this month, right? So they get a deal and you get sales and 
earn your promotion with 10 new, if you sold 10 of these, it's that $660 in volume, which puts, which puts you into a strong qualification for district manager. And so you guys think about it, if you sold 20, you would almost be there. I think it's 22 sets actually gets you over 6,000 and you start November 1st with a pay raise. I don't know about you, but I think everybody could use a pay raise in November and December. So as you're thinking about that, who could you share that with that might like a pay raise in November or December? So as you grow your business, you're also duplicating by sharing this business because again, it's free signups for consultants with a $500 QB order. So they can share this awesome deal with others too. You guys, don't miss out. I'm telling you, this will explode your business if you work it. It's called network marketing and it works if you do. And you guys, we're not with one month. You got 31 days. Work like you've never worked before and you will be so thankful you did. Wow. Yeah, I you know what? I liked how she said that. I liked the 10 thing, right? Like it doesn't seem crazy. It doesn't. It doesn't at all. Um, so I would, I would encourage you to keep your mind on growing your teams because that's where the long run, huge, huge growth comes from. And that's where we're really changing people's lives. But the RE9 is the flagship product of this company and has been for a long, long time. So there will be lots of people who get interested in this. And, uh, it is a great kind of marketing feature to say, prices from 15 years ago. So, you know, think about how you want to use that and what you want to do and then talk to me or whoever your upline is about what you want to do for this month because the number one thing you can do, I guess this doesn't need to be on anymore. The number one thing you can do to start your month strong is contact your mentor and say, "Okay, here's what I think I want to do this month. Can we make a plan and how what do I need to do and how do I figure it out?" Um and so do that. Sit down, give it a little bit of thought, decide what you want to do, and we'll figure it out. And that's that. And somehow we're going to power through this month going into RVP qual because that is what I'm going to talk about incessantly until it happens. <laughs> so be prepared. Keep talking. <laughs> But along the way, that means that if you want to grow this business, and as I always say, you can stay exactly where you are and hang with us and we love you and that's totally fine. If you want to grow this business, now is the time. We need you as part of the team because we need more people who are actively growing in order to hit region. Um, and, and other people need you too that you're going to go out and find. So that's all the exciting stuff. Very exciting. Thank you. <laughs> so if my, Diane, my PC wants to um, upgrade to an IC, so does she just go on to the website and go to log into her account and she pays the, she upgrades, pays the $49? And yes. Then she's done it. Um, I... Renee had an issue when she did it where they had to kind of come back and refund the difference and all this crazy stuff. So I need to look again at exactly what somebody needs to do to upgrade so that we avoid okay. whatever that was. <laughs> okay. Um, because every now and then we find holes in the website, which they're always working on. But um, let me, I'm going to write that down. Let me figure out the exact steps to upgrade. Very exciting. Irene. Um, Yay. And you know what, Irene, uh, I know that April would agree with me when I say this, but just get in touch with either me or April, whichever one of us is available, and let's sit down with her and have coffee. Um, that's okay. the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I told April, because I was there, I saw her last Friday, because I went to uh, the salon to get my hair done. So, and I was telling her, I, I brought the one, our one page sheet and I said, here it is on a nutshell. And so anyway, she wants to do it. What? So I have to it's tell a her. done thing? Yeah, she wants oh. to do it. <laughs> I, she just, I just have to tell her exactly how to do it. 
Well, good Lord, Irene. Okay, so we yeah. need to speak separately anyway because you're going to help me with my travel set situation. Yeah. So we'll talk about that soon. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, there's no, yeah, she's con totally convinced. All you right. Okay. Hey, well, we're starting the month off strong. Um, <laughs> So I, it is my goal to operate at this level of craziness for the next three months. So I'm just okay. saying, <laughs> I could because win. I've been watching people promote this month and I've been thinking, and you'll see this when, if you haven't seen my little video that I did earlier today in our group, what they have is really a ton of excitement and heart about it. And that's, I think, what we've been missing because we've been kind of, we've been kind of going along, you know, chugga chugga. So now we're gonna get excited. And if you choose not to, that's fine, of course. <laughs> and I don't, excuse me, I don't think it hurts that many of us are doing the thirty days. Yeah, our yeah. brain is gonna be healthier, and we're gonna clear that brain. So. Beware, those of you that are new with the 30 days, the first few days, it's okay if you're like, but I want to eat the couch and why can't I have this? <laughs> you're going to be okay. I promise you're going to be okay. Um, and Heather, thank you for finding those posts that Arbon did. Oh my gosh, I had no idea those even existed. <laughs> so that was awesome. Some of them, oops. Uh -oh. I, can, I can hear you. Okay. <laughs> I just, I, my Zoom tonight's been really messy. You can hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, some of the posts I wasn't crazy about. They seemed a little too, like, salesy. Yes. So I kind of skipped over them. Um, but, but a lot of them were really good, yeah. So I agree with you 100%, and I figured that was... I, I was looking at them, and I was looking at what you were doing, and so what I did was go back and mix the really good ones in with some of the stuff we had used in the past. Yeah. Um, and then put them all in one big document. So obviously if anybody's running a 30 days group, they can do whatever they want. But now we literally have a document that has 30 posts in it. So if you ever said, Oh my gosh, I have 10 people that want to do this with me. I'm going to do my own group. Bam. There you go. Um, that's so that's great. pretty cool. Yeah. Great. Hey, hey Cheryl. Mm-hmm. Can I just, um, I was, I was looking, um, this is going back to the PC sign or the, um, the, the sign, the, in the, the consultant sign up fee. Um, it looks like, I mean, that the, you know, the, like you said, the $49 is going to be permanent, but I think one thing we need to be aware of, it looks, um, that, that $49 gets you a very basic start kit. And if you want to get what we used to get with the samples and the catalogs, that's an, that's an upgrade for another oh, dollars. Great, great. Does it say that in that document somewhere? Mm. It's I found it I like in the mail the 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 um in the email in the email um, right. um consultant bulletin alert October 1. It said a $56 value and I assumed that was the catalogs. So the right yeah, in my in my packet I got the catalogs and the um yep you samples. did. Right, that's what I'm saying. I think they're changing it. They're changing oh, okay. It so that the new, like going forward, forty nine dollars gets you, you know, the website access, like one catalog, oh. some, you know, paperwork and stuff. But if you want the, the, they have two options to upgrade your welcome kit, and one of them is mm -hmm. um, a share Arbon pack, which is forty nine dollars, a fifty six ninety value for forty nine dollars. And that includes, uh, it says, a beautifully branded kit filled with business tools, product catalogs, and product samples, excuse me, designed to help you start sharing Arbonne's products. And then, and then of course, there's the, the ASVPs. That's the other way to upgrade. So it's just coincidence that it's another 49 to upgrade your 49? Um, well, I, I think it's somewhere in the middle. And I can't find it right this moment, which I suppose is the drawback of having our Monday on the first, right? We have to still... <laughs> <laughs> yes. We have to yeah. still figure it out. But I was somewhere, and I can't figure out where the heck it was. I was looking at a picture of that $49 pack, and it's more than we used to get in a sign up. It has a shaker cup, it has protein, oh, wow. it has like other stuff. So there's, thank you for bringing it up, Heather. We need to like dig into that a little bit and understand the difference. 
So, yeah. so if you, you pay 49, you get that beautiful kit that you were just describing. But then if you want to do the upgrade to the share Arbon pack, that's another 49. Oh. See, that's that's the one with the cup and stuff. Okay. I wish, I wish they made it a different number because that's confusing. Yeah. Not really, but I think it might be confusing. To but I think the share Arbon thing is also meant to be you can get it anytime. Um, like we could get it if we wanted it. Oh. So we'll have to, we'll have to dig in. Um, okay. Yeah, whatever you guys find, let me know. Um, most of the team is better at details than me. So I admit that. <laughs> and we will figure out what all Don't of that means. That. Don't strengthen it if it's not your strength. <laughs> yeah, I'll just rely yeah. on you guys. <laughs> Don't strengthen your weaknesses. Strengthen your strength. Um, but yeah, Heather, thank you. Because there is, there is something going on in there that we need to understand so that we're not talking in circles when someone <laughs> wants to do it. <laughs> I just we're all going to be sponsoring new consultants, right? So we need to know what we're doing. Yeah. Okay. So we will figure that out uh, within the next few days. Okay.